Brolin. Sandra. Right. Stay three, take one. By the time I'd finished my year, it was just one year at, um, at the Slade School and was write, writing up the thesis, uh, just really exactly at that time, the middle of 1962, the first issue of Movie magazine came out, which was a, a continuation of Oxford Opinion, the, of the film section. Uh, Oxford Opinion was a general magazine, it just had this film section, but here was a, uh, a specialist film magazine and a very to use the word again, polemical film magazine. And that, that in turn uh, made a big impact and a much wider impact than Oxford Opinion could possibly have done. Both Gavin Miller and I started to write for it. Not, we neither of us wrote very much for it. I wrote two or three things in the early, early -ish edition, editions of movie. And it did build up quickly quite a solid body of analytical, critical work. The, the detailed... Crit close critical reading, uh, which movie was associated with, and very consciously opposing that to the, 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 the rather impressionistic and sloppy, uh, at its worst, ap approach of, and better name the magazine, Sight and Sound. It was very much a sort of uh, a official establishment magazine of film, film criticism in Britain, and they were very shocked uh, to be challenged by movie. And Sight and Sound was a quarterly then, it's still going now, um, and there's that, that's another aspect of the continuity between then and now. There's continuity in that there's an online version of movie still now with a certain amount of continuity with the early days. Um, the, there were three of them who came from Oxford. Ian Cameron, who um, became a, a, a publisher and editor, he published um, movie, he published um, a series of books on films, but also many other books uh, on art um, and on natural history. Very distinguished publisher, independent publisher. Um, Mark Shivers, uh, who um, I think was um, had read law, but never went near um, court, I don't think. Um, and he became, he was a journalist who then went into television and became a very distinguished television producer. But Mark did become just about the most celebrated uh, producer working for independent television and, um, uh, and the BBC and also certain feature films. And the third of that trio, uh, Victor Perkins, who is still with us and is a wonderful continuity between those days and now. It's, it's a nice trio. Publishing, particularly about films, uh, television and film production, and uh, cutting-edge theory and um, uh, academic teaching. Now, th and, and those three um, produced between them a, a, a very exciting body of work, film analysis and polemical uh, line on films and why films were valuable and how we should look at them. Um, and they were soon joined uh, by um, uh, Paul Myersberg, who became a writer, but a very significant figure of, of Robin Wood. So movie um, was not just the initial people, it accumulated others, it accumulated me and Gavin um, in a minor capacity and Ray Dernyat and particularly Robin Wood in a major capacity. And I think you could say that that was the, the, the driving force of um, uh, film criticism and establishing a, 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 a base for um, scholarly study of film in the 60s.